Now I'm going to cook a Bengali fish curry. Now this fish is called the cutler fish. Um, it's been cut into about a centimeter, so it's not too thick. Now I'm going to marinate this with um, about half a teaspoon of turmeric and half a teaspoon. Quarter, quarter of a teaspoon of chili powder and quarter of salt. So just marinate this up. I'm going to grate them. Uh, three tomatoes. I'll grate them. Okay, as I said. I've marinated the fish. Um, so, sorry. It's been about 20 minutes. There's a couple of grated onions, three tomatoes grated. Uh, just chopped up a whole bud of garlic, so there's about 10 bud there. That's about four of this size green chilies of it here. Um, I'm going to go through the spices shortly. Now, firstly, that's a cup of oil. Right. Exactly a cup of oil there. Yeah? Okay. 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 I'm gonna fry the fish here. There's about a cup of oil over here as well. Let that heat up actually. We should be married for about 20 minutes. Like I've, I've just put everything there. It doesn't need its space like chicken and, and so on. So I'm going to just let that cook a few minutes each side. Put the heat on medium and let that cook while we start cooking the fish curry. So there's a cup of oil that's gone into there. Now I'm going to throw in the grated onions. When the onions sort of golden, caramelized, then I'll add the next ingredient. So I can just put in water. This, I, I don't put too much oil, because uh, if, if you cook with too much oil, it's high in calorie, and I just don't like that. So um, I always add a bit of water into it. Now uh, the fish, it's been about a couple of minutes. It's cooking away nicely. As you can see, the blood is coming out, so it's getting cooked. So I'll give that a few minutes and check on my onions. As you can see here, it starts burning on the edges. That's when you need the water, but there's enough oil here. It just needs to cook. Now I'm going to this curry literally takes about 15 minutes to cook, as my mum would say. So uh, I just started it about five minutes ago, the process. So I'm gonna let this cook a bit. Just put in a bit of water. That should build its steam and sweat the onions out. Five minutes really, I want that to cook, and after the five minutes, we go to the next process, as I said. So 
one side of the fish is about cooked, so I'm going to turn it now. Delicately, as fish breaks. It needs to be cooked properly. Like it. As you can see over here, all the fish has been turned. So a few more minutes there. Onions are sort of caramelized nicely. Turn the gas a bit down. So that's a whole butter garlic goes in. The onion, uh, green chilies go in. that infuse into the onion and then add the rest of the ingredients so it's only been a few minutes not the five minutes that I said so it's been a few minutes there so let that cook for a bit it's been about five minutes now as you can see it's nice and it's getting nice and bold putting a bit of water Always a little bit at a time. I'm going to put the gas up slight high. I'm going to wait for that water that I put it in, put it put in. I'm going to let that reduce, and after that's reduced, and I'm going to add the spices. Fish is nearly done. It's literally been a few minutes on one side, and a couple of minutes. I'm going to give it another couple of minutes, and then I'm turn the gas off. So fish, fish is almost cooked. The fish has been cooking for a few more minutes, like I said, it hasn't been the fifth minute, but uh, we're just going to check on it because I can do it as it's not see through, so I can't really see, so I'll show you if you just come back. As you can see here, when you've got those little holes sort of thing, that means the water has sort of dried out, the oil has gone to the top. So, it's still beautiful. All right. Bengali fish curry is really simple. You add simple spices and it's the ingredients that's the most flavoursome. So it's about one and a half teaspoon of salt, uh, about half a teaspoon, just more than half a teaspoon of extra hot chilli powder, two teaspoons of uh, coriander powder, and just less than a teaspoon of, well, not heat, but a level teaspoon of uh, haldi, which is the turmeric. Colour is beautiful. Can you see that? The reason why I add the garlic slice there, I, I really like the taste of the uh, sort of roasted flavour of the garlic. Uh, so most people put the garlic beforehand, and I don't like that because I feel uh, the garlic goes a bit bitter. But if you cook it like that, you have a slight sweetness in the garlic. It's beautiful flavour. So give that a few minutes, that will cook. And my fish has literally been about six minutes. And just checks the biggest piece, so it's done. And I'm actually going to leave it like that on the oil. Leave that there. So I started both the process at the same time because I know by the time this is sort of cooked, fish will be ready and then I can chuck it in and then the whole, the whole dish will marry up together. So, it's just a few minutes literally the oil has risen up as you can see over here. Now, this is the three grated tomatoes, seeds and all. It doesn't have the skins because when you when you grate it, when you grate the tomato, the skin sort of just comes stays. So add a bit of the water. Now I've used 
basically about 100 ml of water throughout the whole of the cooking process. Um, I may need to add a little bit more, but this is this really needs to get cooked for a further five minutes, and then I'll decide whether I want to add a bit more water. So it's about medium time. Let this cook for a bit, and then I'll come back to it. Uh, I use one and a half uh, litre of water. So when I said 100 ml, it was uh, actually one litre. Just reduce the gas and it's been cooked for about about five to six minutes. As you can see the oil has risen to the top so the spices have really cooked out. It's been literally about 10 minutes, 10-12 minutes cooking time. I have before I used about uh, one one litre of water. I need to throw in a bit more water because um, I, need, I wanted to have a slight sauce, although it's a boona curry. So I've just used 50 ml of water. And I'm just gonna throw in the fish. So. Half a litre, uh, so it wasn't 50 ml, it was half a litre. I've, I've uh, sliced about four chilies in there and just for it to look nice. I'm gonna get four chilies, just break the end bit so the flavour comes out, but the chilli stays whole. I just want the flavour of the chilli. Um, that's just a tomato that I've just. Cut, cut up just one piece of tomato. I'm gonna let this cook. Put the lid on. It's about medium heat, five minutes, and the fish will be cooked. Sorry. Uh, it's been going for another few minutes, so I'm just gonna check on it now. It's bubbling away, fish and the It's bubbling away. Uh, it's nearly cooked, but I, I want it to reduce slightly because this is a fish bruno curry so let it reduce slightly um, I think I'll give it a further five more minutes and then that'll be, that'll be ready, ready to eat right it's been about five six minutes now we're going to check on this fish curry fish curry looks ready so what I'm going to do coriander coriander to garnish turn the gas off you see that? That's your Bengali fish curry, Buna style, cooked. Um, and the colour, colour. As soon as the gas goes off, you see the colour coming out a bit nicely. So yeah, there's a lot of steam. I hope you can see this. You see that orangey, holdy colour? That's how it is now. There you go, fish curry cooked in. It took a little bit longer, 20, 20 minutes. And they've got this issues.